Air disasters can be memorable periods in history, scarred by tragedy and sometimes even mystery. But in every case, there's something to learn from the seconds leading up to those disasters. Yeah, something that airline crews and investigators can learn to make sure that more lives aren't lost. Tonight, Chief Transportation Correspondent Hawker Vanguard takes us inside one of those disasters 25 years later. It's an exclusive you'll only see on Fox 46. That's one of our 747 100 series. It was 25 years ago on a warm summer evening here at New York's John F. Kennedy Airport Terminal 5. TWA Flight 800 was a Boeing 747 with 230 souls on board headed for Paris. Everyone would lose their life that evening when the aircraft exploded and broke up over Long Island. This is the story of how TWA 800 became one of the most investigated and storied air disasters of our time. As the airplane was flying along uh, and the explosion occurred, the first pieces in the debris field, uh, some of those were from the center wing tank area. We just saw an explosion out here at there was a secondary fire and explosion as the airplane was pitching over and coming down. DWA 800 center. I think that was him. I think so. In a hangar not far from the Washington Dulles Airport at the NTSB Training Center, thousands of pieces of fuselage cling to a steel frame, an unsightly jigsaw of shredded wreckage, forming what remains of the Boeing 747 that was TWA 800. This is uh, roughly about half of, uh, of the airplane itself, in length anyway. Frank Hildrup, chief technical advisor with the NTSB, was one of the first investigators on scene. Faced with analyzing and cataloging parts of the aircraft, passenger remains, and their belongings. The investigation quickly honed in on a particular spot of the aircraft. Most of those were either from the center wing tank and the surrounding structure. So yes, for sure, our, our focus at some point when we started to uh, recover things went to this area. Flight 800 fell from the sky now a little more than 48 hours ago, but you still get a sense here that people are stunned and filled with disbelief. The worst midair disaster in decades stunned our nation and led many to wonder if something more illicit than a technical malfunction was to blame for the in-flight breakup. That lends itself to the possibility of something like a, a criminal act or an intentional act of some kind. You know, certainly a couple weeks into the investigation, we had a bombing in the Atlantic Olympics as well. With their focus locked on the center wing tank, Frank Hildrup and his team spent months sifting through the wreckage dredged up from the Atlantic Ocean, looking for any clue of what sparked the deadly explosion. What was certain for investigators, their findings and the reconstruction would shape the future of accident investigations. And that is a, a chilling reminder um, of, of what happens when things don't go right in the transportation industry. 20-year-old Matthew Alexander and off-duty TWA pilot Rick Verheg were among those on board TWA Flight 800 that evening. Coming up, the Carolina Connection and how their memories are being forever honored. 